Today is the Discovery Downwind Race in Cape Town. It's our first race for the season. We excited about 10 arcs, actually at about 80 peddlers, which is great. And the conditions were exciting as well. Discovery's core purpose is to make people healthier. So we use activities like the surf ski and many other sporting events to promote healthy living. And we understand that these peddlers are guys who are fit and take part in sporting activities on a weekly basis and they're very focused on achieving their goals and most of them are vitality members as well. So we're really excited that they're living um, the values of, uh, of, of vitality and we encourage more and more people to engage in activities like this. We're looking forward to more uh, safety races under the Discovery Cyclist Heart uh, series in Cape Town, um, other races in Cape Town, Devon, as well as Port Lisa. Today was quite interesting. We all week with the conditions were supposed to be uh, with a southwest wind, which would have meant a Heart Bay to Camps Bay with a following wind. Uh, but unfortunately, in the morning uh, we we got word that the the conditions were changing to northwest wind, which would mean a headwind to Camps Bay. So we changed the course to do a 14-kilometer lap course here in the Bay at Heart Bay. We got massive swell, so we paddled out to a place called Vulcan Rock, past the famous. Dungeons Reef where they have the Big Wave Africa surfing competition and then went across the bay to uh, just below Chapman's Peak and then a circular course around the bay. So very good racing. Uh, we had a, a, a duel between the Mocker brothers Jasper and David Mocker with the younger brother Jasper just managing to pip his brother in for the win here today. The next race of the Discovery Sunglass Hut series actually moves up to the Eastern Cape. We, we're doing a race called the Pete Marlin Memorial next weekend which is two days of racing, single ski on the Saturday and double ski on the Sunday. It was a very tough race, uh, you know, we've got the best guys in the world in Cape Town and the rest of South Africa, so if you line up for a race, you know, it's always going to be a tough one, and it was, uh, it was very challenging, we had, um, you know, there were, there were big swells, so it was really challenging, there was quite a bit of wind, and then, you know, quite a lot of the race, at least half of the race was into the wind as well, so it was very challenging. This year is actually the first time I've ever beaten him, earlier in April, and I've beaten him twice since then, including today, so, yeah, it's cool, right? I mean, it's, we, we don't really... Don't get too intense about it. We train together, we paddle together all the time. So, uh, so it's nice to, you know, every, every one you get, it's nice. I enjoy it. So we're gonna miss the next two series races, unfortunately. And we're gonna go race in the, in the Hong Kong Dragon Run, which is uh, one of the International World Cup races. And, you know, like I said earlier, it's, it's, uh, it's excellent because, you know, the guys we race here on a weekly basis are basically the same guys we race overseas. So, so it's very good preparation. I had uh, an amazing experience, you know, I, I definitely call it, call it a spiritual experience, I must say, because I was, I was actually uh, got dropped, I was in third place, um, about 80 to 100 meters behind uh, Tom and David, I was lying in third place, and a whole pot of dolphins, about 20 or 30 dolphins came up next to me, and they literally swam in front of me, in, around me, like jumping up and down, going wild, and I basically had them accompanying me for a good, a good 25, 30 minutes and um, they were swimming with me and it literally felt like they were pulling me along and I wasn't even focusing on the front two guys. After about, you know, after about 15, 20 minutes of them swimming with me, I'd caught right up to Tom and David and, you know, pretty much put him back in the race and I managed to uh, get the win. So, I, I definitely, if it wasn't for those dolphins, I definitely wouldn't have won today. I can say that definitely.